Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. I'm here today to share with you what I received from, uh, what I purchased, excuse me, from two different um, stationery stores. Now, these are stationery stores. They weren't scrapbook stores. Um, they had some paper that they called scrapbook paper, but it was actually um, like cover paper, like the kind you put in like a um, presentation portfolio. I did buy some of it. It is a great weight, so... Yeah. Um, yes, the angle on this is super weird. I got to do what I got to do. My camera setup will be here next week. So for now, we got to do what we got to do. All right. So the first thing I bought were these paper clips. <laughs> when I saw them in the store, I didn't realize it was these ones that look like scissor handles. Um, if you see something else, well, it's just going to be scissor handles. Okay. <laughs> see, like scissors, right? I didn't realize it was these. I just saw square rectangle paper clips, but I got some of those. Um, and then I got a pink glue gun because pink. Now, the only problem with this, well, kind of problem, kind of not problem. Um, it is American spec plug, and I'm not in America right now. So I'll have to wait to use this when I get home. Um, I do have a few things I can use for American plug, but I don't want to waste my transformers and stuff like that. So I had to buy a different glue gun from the grocery store up the street. So I just got a regular glue gun, some glue sticks from up the street. Okay. And then I got this super cool pen. It has three colors, black, blue, and red. It is a gel ink pen. Um, you'd have thought I brought some paper over here. Oh, I have a sticky note. It writes very smooth. Um, it is a kind of a gel ink pen, but kind of not. I typically don't like gel ink pens because I write so hard, and when I write super hard, the gel ink just bleeds everywhere. This one doesn't. Um, it is a fine, a very fine tip, which I typically don't like, but I did like it in this one. This other thing that I found that I was super excited is portable scissors. Yes, it's called Build and Cut um, Stick Type Scissors. So I'm gonna open this uh, because <laughs> some of you had noticed in my videos, I cut weird. I guess not weird, but just, I guess not the norm. And I didn't know it wasn't normal until somebody pointed it out. But I'll cut like this with my thumb in there, but most of the time I cut like this because it just hurts my thumb. So I just cut like this and it works out perfectly. My thumb doesn't hurt. Whatever, I'll switch fingers. I don't know. I didn't know it was weird. I just thought it was comfortability level. But somebody pointed out and told me I was weird. So anyway, when I saw this that I'm struggling to open, let me pause this and open it. Okay, it took me forever to get the plastic wrap off. Now, I had these as a kid when I lived in Japan, so I'm assuming that this came from Japan. Everything else in that section was from Japan, so I'm assuming. But look, you take the top off, pop that down, you pop this up like so, and when you're cutting, you're just basically using your thumb to cut, right? The ones when I was a kid were a lot easier. I haven't used these in a long time. So like you can pop these in your purse, cut your coupons or whatever so it cuts this is good for like you know like when your thumb starts hurting from the other scissors but maybe that's why I cut weird because I'm used to these like before I could just be like good to go I don't know see for me there we go I'm back in the rhythm it's great Hardly any pressure. So there you go. And I like the fact that it has Legos on the side. <laughs> Obviously it's not Legos, I'm just kidding. And then you just do that, you put the cap on, you keep it moving. So I don't know, maybe that's why I like to cut without um, using my thumb. I don't know. There you go, childhood unlocked, right? Okay, so that's that. 
Now I'm showing you guys this because some of you, if you, if I participate in the swap, you're going to get this stuff because obviously that's what I have. So I got three pens, well four technically, and then I got, you know, enough for three partners to have the, what you call this? Um, then this was came from the grocery store as well because who doesn't want a panda stapler? So cute. Got a panda stapler. Um, and then I got these cute little box cutters because pink box cutters are so cute. And then I got these little notebooks. I thought they were great. Look at that. So this was the weird thing. Um, it, it, okay, I shouldn't say weird. It was different, okay, from what I'm used to. Now, at the stationery store, these came in several different colors. And, you know, they're stacked on the, sh you know, they're stacked on the shelf like this. But they were in the cellophane of uh, bunches of 12. So I thought I had to buy 12. Well, I saw, like, two loose somewhere else. And then I was like, okay. So I went and asked the guy and said, where's the loose? And he brought me to the stack of 12. And I said, no, no, I don't need 12. I just need three. I should have got four. But I, I just need three. He says, yeah. He opens it and hands me, what color? You know, he says, what color? I tell him I want the three black. He hands me the three black and just puts the rest back on the shelf. And I was like, okay. And he said, you just take your pieces what you want. So for me, that was super weird that I'm supposed to open these bundled packs and take what I want. Now, I did see in the grocery store, um, I forgot what it was. Maybe it was like tea or something. Somebody had opened the box and taken, you know, a couple out and left the box there. And I was like, wow, somebody tried to steal stuff, you know. But no, apparently, if you don't want the whole box, you don't have to take the whole box. And so if you do want the whole box, you need to check and make sure that all the quantity is in the box. So it's different, very different than what I'm ever used to. And I've lived in multiple countries, but to each his own, I guess. Um, I got these pens. These are triangle pens and I absolutely love them. Here's mine. I don't want to use somebody else's, but um, because the way I write, a triangle pen is amazing. And it's a ballpoint pen. So, you know, and I, I like the pens that stick out. I know it's, come on, not working right. I like the tips that stick out. Remember back in the day, you could get those cheap pens that had like the fun designs that used to rub off on your hands and you have all like the glitter and metallic stuff all over your hands, but they had that long tip. I love, love, love those pens. And they're very hard to find unless you get them from like Oriental Trading or something like that. Um, so I bought these pens for my partners because we all love a good pen. This pen is great because look at all the real estate. You can put your name on it. I'm going to use the clear stickers and put my name on it. Um, my logo probably, I don't know. But these are great. And they are a ballpoint pen and not gel ink. But they're smooth like a gel ink. So, yeah, and when I write, I write completely sideways. So that's another thing, too, that's weird. Like, most people just have their page turned. I write completely sideways for the most part. So when I find a good pen that doesn't smudge my hand, it's like a left-hander finding a perfect left-hander pen, right? Even though I'm right-handed. Okay. Then I got these cute little book things. They hold um, business cards. So I thought, how fun would this be to be like a little mini album um, or even to hold your business cards that you get in your swaps, right? Super cute. And again, these were in um, stacks of 12. So it's just a little, you know, little things. Um, so I had a, um, actually there was three that were on top of a stack of 12, so I looked out. And then the last thing I got from, no, it's not the last thing, but one of the last things here in my bucket are these cool little um, notebooks. It's just a plain little notebook. I thought this was super fun. It has a few little thing. You can alter it and it has a protective cover. So you can change your cover as much as you want. 
know what I mean? Like you can add your pictures, you know, you can do whatever you want. So I figured I'm going to do something cute with these, or they're just going to sit in this bucket, you know, for 10 years, whichever comes first. All right. So that's all that's in that bucket. And then I got, I'm trying to stay organized guys, because I have, you know, a smaller space. And so smaller space means you need to be organized. Um, then I got some double-sided tape in the, in the, I think it's just two inch. Where's my ruler? There's somebody at my door. Okay. Weird. Whatever. My door, it's not really somebody was trying to open my door, but the neighbor was going into his house. So I don't know. Anyway, scared me. Not going to lie. All right. So... This is, yeah, this is the two inch tape. This is pretty much the same as score tape. Um, it's made in Taiwan. The, you know, score tape's made in Korea, um, but it's the same quality. I forgot who used to sell this at one of the expos. It's the polar bear. Um, but I don't think we can get it in the States anymore. So I just got a couple rolls of that. Before I leave, I'm going to stock up on it. And then I got um, just a what is this, an L ruler, I guess it's called. Yeah, grid L. Just because I needed one to line it up. This is um, inches, centimeters, and millimeters. So I do work in centimeters. I do a lot of the, um, I do follow a lot of the tutorials for the people who are overseas. Um, so I do work in centimeters as well. So I'll do that. Just all of my tutorials are in inches just because the majority of my followers work in inches. Then I had to get some wire cutters because I brought my new, um, some of my dies with me, but I didn't um, think to bring the wire cutter and I like a clean cut. So I got that. Then I got some little sticky things because I'm doing some um, Kathy Orta King projects and I need to label A, B, or C and I want to use a reusable one. Um, and speaking of Kathy Orta King, I got some of this cloth tape, okay? Now, I do not know if this is the same as her P3 tape. I ordered the P3 tape, and it's not going to be here for a while um, because, it, first of all, it was on back order, and second of all, where I am, um, it's going to take a while. So I bought this tape because I want to see if it's the same. Now, with the exchange rate, it's approximately the same price as hers. Um, it's just the only reason why I decided to go ahead and get this. That is, if it's the same as hers, I can use this while I'm here. Um, if that makes sense, because in the States I'll have access to paperphenomenon.com. I can buy as many rolls as I want. They'll get to me, you know, in a timely fashion. Um, but here, you know, my mail can take <laughs> anywhere from two days to two months. So... I wanted to see if this was the same as her P3 tape. Um, I don't know. I'm pretty excited for it. It's kind of like a cross between... Ooh, it stinks. Duct tape, electrical tape, and cloth tape is what this is. Okay. Again, I do not know if this is going to be the same. I'm hoping and praying it is because I only ordered two rolls of P3 tape from Kathy. Um, so I don't know. We're going to find out. But I did get it in black and I got it in craft. Okay. So I'm not getting a discount or anything on it because, it, like I said, the exchange rate is about the same price. Maybe like... 20 cents cheaper. So, but for me, it's the convenience. Okay. What else? <laughs> My big thing that I got that I'm hoping is real. Let me grab it. It's this doll trimmer or dolly. I don't know how you say it. This is the one, one of the ones that Kathy recommends. This is the 550. Um, the reason why I say it, I hope it's real is because, um, okay, hold on. Let me pull this all up. So here, oh no, here is the, all right, I'm just going to take this off. Sorry, sorry guys. 
Okay, here's the box. So it looks real and everything, right? But <laughs> I noticed this says 552. This is supposed to be a 550. And after we paid for it is when we flipped it over and this is what, hold on, I'm trying to do this one hand. This is the front. So I don't know what the front of the box is supposed to look like, but I don't know. I don't know. So I haven't opened it yet. Um, I did pay $96 for this. So I'm hoping it's real because this version on Amazon is $170. So I paid $96. Um, so I'm hoping. I'm going to open it right now, but I'm going to have to pause the video. Um, obviously because this is crazy. Okay, well, I mean, it looks real. If any of you have this, um, let me know. Um, sorry, my, you know, my camera's going crazy here. Things are upside down. So I didn't know that, you know, even the stationery store has counterfeit project, counterfeit things. Um, I didn't figure that out until, um, we got home and got this, <laughs> which I didn't think it was going to work because look at this sus plug. Hold on, let me show you. There's like no mark. There's like no markings or grooves on the, uh, the prongs. It did work. We plugged it in. It worked just fine. But doesn't that look a little sus? But, um, so yeah, so if anybody has a doll or dolly or however you say this, 550, let me know. Let me see if I can flip this camera around, sorry, to show y'all. I mean, it has, it looks right. Looks like the Amazon picture. I don't know what this stuff is, but I mean, it looks pretty cool. I cut down, I, when I had it down on the floor, I cut a piece of paper. It worked just fine. So, um, yeah, let me know. Okay. So I think that is actually all, oh, the paper. Let me grab that. Oh, I used it to cut these tiny little, um, pieces here. So, I mean, it's working. This is 210 pound weight cover stock. And it cut through it like butter. So, if it's a counterfeit, it's real good. Okay, so the paper, I'm going to move this in a second, but I'll get the paper. Uh, it's called uh, cover stock, which it is super, super heavy. Um, it's mainly for presentations. So it's like uh, the equivalent of our... Um, you know the paper folders you get at Walmart, like the super thick paper folders um, that you usually get like if you go to a conference and stuff like that. That's the type of paper it is. This is yellow. I don't know why yellow causes a conniption fit. But then I got just some tan, some yellow, and I think I needed um, green. So I got a little pink and I got green. So they had a ton of colors in this paper. I just got a few of the colors I knew I was needing for a project because I can always go back. So that worked out for me. Um, the grocery store up the street does have white cardstock and I um, can't remember what other color. So I do have some options for that. The, the base does have some stuff. Um, I needed foam dots. I didn't bring mine for whatever reason. And they had foam dots, so I got foam dots. Um, so they had cardstock too. Just white. Well, they had white and neon colors. So yeah, so I have some options. I don't have to get everything mail order, which is good because, um, like I said, it, like, it literally can take two days or two months. It, it doesn't matter what it is. Um, you know, just depends on what they have um, room for. 
I guess, is the dealing stick. So anyway, here's the pink. Look at how pretty that is. So I don't know how well that works. But um, yeah, so that is my haul. And that is scrapbooking in a different country. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Bye.